Hey everyone, how's it going? Rybred here. Welcome back to Soma. Now, we made it inside from the last video because of our lovely robot assistant. But now, I'm not too sure what to expect, so let's get right to it and see what we find. Alright, the loading screen is actually helping us here. From the last time, we are trying to get to the shuttle ride to Lambda. We're supposed to meet Catherine. So, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm probably going to be expecting some sort of monster, or some sort of beast or creature thing to come at me. But, I, I don't know. So let's go try to go meet Catherine. The shuttle is activated. Emergency stop. Ooh, hey, I can flick some levers. Alrighty, um. There's the button to lock the door. A little, uh, a little ner nervous to see where this goes. Because I guarantee you I know what probably. Wait, what the. What, what might happen? Okay. Huh. Alright, let's do this. Flip the other switch and let's get out of here. I'm gonna set that in it. In an accent. Right. We are here. Oh, we're going to Lambda. Alright, there are other destinations on the map, so I'm kind of assuming that this is a safe shuttle and I'll be able to make it to Lambda in peace. But then again, I'm not sure if they added that, just so you kind of trust that everything's going to be going all right. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station stands multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. Hmm. It's actually a pretty neat concept to uh, be able to launch stuff from space by using a fairly large tunnel to pretty much projectile as a projectile to shoot it out in space. All right, this is kind of what I was expecting. Okay, blacked out. Let's see, am I actually gonna wake up in the same spot? I kind of thought something was gonna happen. I'm kind of curious how far I made it to Lambda. Door. Why can't I find my way out? I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, there we go. Alright, well, we're safely out of the shuttle. A uh, ton appears to be a ton of water here. Alright, now I have no idea what I'm going to be expecting in this tunnel. Hmm. An actual intercom? Is that Ka <laughs> Catherine, is that you? Simon. Simon, are you there? It is. Catherine, is that you? 
I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Hmm. Catherine? You okay? All right. Well, as I expected, we're kind of stuck in here. Have to go to the maintenance hall to try to try to get us past this. Um, I'm actually uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad that there's a hall breach here. That probably means there's probably something going on. I uh, don't want to know know what it is really. I wonder if they actually made me sustain damage from that crash either way. Jesus Christ! What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well that was a little bit different. Alright, so... So that just happened. The thing I like sticking my finger in just decided to eat my hand. in this little crawly hole. Hmm. It's nice and dark. Nice and dark in here. So let's see here. There's actually light. From a light. Not from the sky, of course. Hmm. But do... Do I actually want to? You know what? Help with James in. See, I'm kind of wondering if this guy's wearing a scuba outfit. He kind of has to. I saw it from his hand, but I didn't know if it, like, apparently including a helmet all the time. That's fine. Alright. Experiencing a tiny bit of lag. Oh, there you go. I was kind of wondering. I thought I was going to be trapped in the room for a lot longer than I was expecting. Alright, let's see what kind of robots are out here. See if my little buddy's out here. See if he followed me the whole entire way. But I'm not entirely too sure if he did. Let's see. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Really? I'm pretty sure you know how big this ocean can be. But she did say we're close to Lambda. So that's definitely a good sign. Probably just a little bit further. I'm expecting some robots on the outside here again, just patrolling. Like, I'm not sure if that's a station or a robot just being. Oh, look, there's a crab. There is a crab. Hey, little guy, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Huh? I'm gonna say, I probably should stop following that crab before he gets me in trouble. But look at him. Look at him. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, let's, can I go around the light? Yeah, let's, it's not gonna matter anyway. But let's see. All right, kind of odd that I'm not finding anything. It looks like there's a sign here to Lambda, 350 meters. Well, that's less than hatching a two kilometer pokey egg. So, I think we're on the right track. We're doing pretty good right now. Doing pretty good. Alright. Oh my goodness, look, I, was gonna, I thought there was three crabs, but look at them. There's even more crabs. Hey guy, I wish I could pick you up. I wish I could probably throw some at you since I can't pick you up. If I can't have you, no one can. Alright, so there's 
probably some dangerous aquatic life that I am unaware of. Too distracted. Too distracted with the crabs. I'm hearing some interference. So let's let's kind of see what this is. I'm not too sure what's going to be going on. Seems to be a lot of rocks and stuff I could hide behind, so I can use that for my advantage. All right. Well, something's definitely getting closer. The interfer interference is getting. I was gonna say getting kind of heavier, but nothing's going on at the moment, so it must be kind of farther away. Let's see. So, I don't see anything right now. The heck is that? I can't even see it. I th for a second I thought it was a red fog. But we're just gonna... It's gonna wa I don't know what it is. It's past to be a... Yeah. I was gonna say definitely one of those robots from before. But it looked like it could have been a fish. I, d I don't know why. Alright, so I don't know if he's the only one here, but we're just gonna we're just gonna keep trucking it until I get the interference again. Um Hmm. 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 It's gonna say getting to light is always a good idea. Let's see what is there anything in here? Okay, well I can see inside. I don't really see much in there. Alright. This must be Lamp. Where Catherine is. Hopefully. I didn't see any signs or anything else indicating it was Lambda. But what why not? Why not, right? Got my trusty bottle. I don't know what. Look at that throw effect. Chasing Ka- <laughs> Let's do a little bit better. Chasing Catherine. The tale of one man's journey through the underwater ocean through robots for Catherine. Yeah, it's lame. I can't really think of anything, so what if... Alright. Too busy talking, uh... Talking to you guys. Well, right at the moment myself, that I didn't even see that guy until the screen shook. If the screen didn't give me an obvious sign that something was here, I probably would have just kept walking forward. Catherine? <laughs> Ooh! Oh no no! <laughs> Let's get out of here, baby! Oh fuck me! Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. I don't really want to look at it, Catherine. gonna be right there, isn't it? How am I able to hear her through all these metal? Like, all these metal doors. She's saying it's safe, but I know better. I know better, Catherine. I know better. Kind of wondering if Catherine is an actual per person or not. Or, what was her name? Amy. Like, Amy from before that I just I keep slaughtering people because huh, they keep being plugged into something that I need. Alright, so, she's hurt right now. Uh, probably still gonna... Uh, completely for what I was gonna say. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Is 
Take that. Oh, it's, it's a robot. Okay, okay. You know what, something's gonna happen, the door's probably gonna get locked, and then I might have to be rerouted. Just have a feeling. I think she's down here though. Doors. I'm right next to you. I kinda knew this was gonna happen. Kinda knew it. But it's okay, baby. I'm here. I'm here. Alright, well let's see what she wants me to do before I start plugging right in my Omni tool everywhere. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself hmm. lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. No need to be a douche now. I need now. you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. Well, I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. <laughs> so apparently my guy is when being a 14-year-old. Just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. I'm not saying anything against 14 year olds, I'm just saying, uh. He, he's acting like a baby. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door open? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? Alright, let's give this a try. Just because it's desolate doesn't mean he has to be a jerk. I mean, there's no other people around, and the robot's talking to you is helping you. It's, a, it's the least that you could do. Custom Cortex chip bound. Shutting down helper chip. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well... I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. Hmm. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Hmm. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, silent. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Duh. Nope. Nope. Geez, I'm what tall. was I said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah. I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Hmm. How long has he been here? Uh, or... Okay, from the other room. 
Or this one. <laughs> what happened to the tower? The dock and the welcome center. What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's... It's so strange. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Hmm. Hmm. Are you Opinions. excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor then? I think it's really important we do this. I guess I could see that. If it takes a little piece of who you are without actually taking away from a physical body, that would actually be pretty neat and good to go in a robot. Because Catherine even said her herself, the actual Catherine, humanoid Catherine, could actually be out and about and alive. But we won't know that because this Catherine is kind of like her personality, like everything, just in a robot. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do, am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Say, is it still recording? Okay. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is. Darn it, I thought I would still what be able to play. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living hmm. through the reality of continuity. It is actually a pretty neat concept. Oh, that's right, there's still a lot of stuff in the computer. Because technically you'd still be alive, even if your physical body dies, it'd still be preserved in the computer, so then they could form their own opinions. Yes. That's some early and perceive reality their own inside. way. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Hmm. I like it. Nice. Looks like a bunch of schematics. Uh, welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the ARC. This survey is designed to give developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. Mmm. Let, let's see here. A lot of weird stuff happened. Uh, yeah, a lot of weird stuff did happen, so... I'm not too sure, so let's go next. How would you describe your mental condition? Let's see, I wonder if we're doing it in the game or <laughs> if they're actually asking myself. But I'm going to assume it's from the game. So, how would Simon actually feel? Hmm, I think altered. How do you describe your senses? It's too sensitive. It's kind of perceiving everything. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It, it's ple it's pleasant. 
Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? Uh, let's mourn here. I wonder how many questions there are. How do you perceive your new existence? Uh, let's do a new chapter. Do you think this new yeah, do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Maybe you can find a new sense of the meaning of the world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No, no. No, yeah, okay. Alright, well I don't really know what that survey did, but it, I found a tracker homed in on the ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Hmm. Please let it be safe. News in one of them. Uh, oh, okay. So they're here. It's not Lambda. Let's try Tau. That looks interesting. Wow, we're really getting pretty in depth here. I'm assuming you go in, and it's probably here. That's kind of what I was thinking. All right, Let's zoom in I pretty far. It's oh, at a site named Tau. Know. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't date the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Hmm. So she's no longer able to talk to me. Alright, so we actually have Catherine with us now. Alright, so Catherine is no longer in her computer body, or her sentient being body, and now we're off on an adventure. <laughs> thought something bad was going to happen there. Heard the noise and startled me. Alright, well I guess we're going back outside. I do kind of wonder where that, uh, that creature went. Counting it was inside the whole time. And then just disappeared, so how is it able to get outside? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run across it again. Alright guys, we're actually gonna call it here for the night. We're gonna go travel to the other station, see if we'll be able to find anything that'll actually get us one step closer to finding Ark. And we'll see what happens. That blue thing, I didn't really get a good look at it. I'm kind of glad I didn't, but I'm actually also curious to see what it actually looks like. I don't want to mess with it. Catherine said it emitted some kind of electromagnetic pulse. I don't know, because I was kind of hiding. Kind of hiding from it. But thank you guys again for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. That's a station where a robot could be. Oh, look, there's a crab. There is a crab. Hey, little guy, where are you going? Where are you going?